romance rom-com phone book? Is this spicy? Who is getting this festive? Life is a winding road. Wonder if I can exchange donuts. <laughs> Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. Hey, hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Joyce and today it is the first day of fall. Yay! So clearly I'm in a fall mood. Before we get into sorting out the fall decor, I want to get into some books that I have recently added to my TBR based on five star reviews. They gave them five stars, so I'm gonna see, are these really five star reads or are you guys just gassing them up? So the very first book is going to actually be the romance category and it is titled Two Wrongs Make a Right. The five star reviews on this one, steamy. Okay, so <laughs> this is definitely a book that has some heavy spice, authentic autism, representation check great humor check fun plot and fast pacing check enemies to lovers and fake dating check check this particular person says <laughs> I'm not gonna read this one oh my god this little romance rom-com fall book is this spicy normally I don't like too much spice and I don't know maybe they're gassing it up that's why we're gonna read them and figure it out the way this woman has this manners in the streets but freak in the sheet type of man wrapped around her finger is breathtaking pun intended <laughs> so I think we get the point what kind of book this is gonna be these five star reviews are hilarious let's just say that moving on to the next book it is titled magic steeped in poison and this is actually in the fantasy category those of you that are not new to my channel you know that I'm not a fantasy reader and I guess I never really explained why but a lot of times it's scary it's a little too mythical for me like dragon zombies like all that is just not my vibe however I've realized there are certain things I've watched and I thought it was fun like Sabrina the Teenage Witch really that was fantasy or charmed you know so I don't know maybe if I find the right one I could get into it but I just feel like some of these fantasies are way too left field for me but anyway, the reason I gravitated towards this one is the cover. The cover is absolutely beautiful. It's surrounding tea. I am a tea lover. So that is what drew me to this particular book, as well as the five star reads. The first one says, the magic in this was so cool. It's based on different types of tea. Like different tea does different magic depending on the leaves and how you prepare it. And then the other one says, I think the star of the book is the tea which I love. There were moments throughout the story where I worried that this tea business would take a back seat to the rest of the plot, but it didn't. It was prominent and it was bold, like a really well-brewed cup of tea. So if you are a tea lover like me, I think that this could be very cute and very fun to read, obviously, in the fall because it's just cozy season. It just seems like this might be one that I might be able to connect with. So let's hope so, we shall see. The next book is A Cozy Mystery and the title of this one is Fall for Murderer. Absolutely love the cover, the colors are absolutely beautiful and it's clearly giving fall. The first review says, the plot is well written and it holds the reader's attention as they search for clues. You will find this to be an enjoyable cozy mystery with the right balance of suspense and intrigue that will keep you busy guessing. Absolutely love that from A Cozy Mystery. Another review says, I could almost taste those pumpkin spice lattes and autumn treats right along with Allie. And then this last one here, it really sold it for me. I loved this book. It's perfect for this time of year with fall right around the corner. The author really takes you into the season and makes you wish you were there. Allie is excited for fall and can't wait to decorate her new house. While shopping for house decoration, she stumbles upon a body at Home Goods. <laughs> How modern is that? And then she goes on to say, it's a fun story with lots of interesting characters that keep you guessing. We'll also be wishing you had a pumpkin latte. Oh, I'm so excited. These are some really good picks, right? Okay, so our next category is fiction. This particular book is titled, I Fell In Love With Hope. This one was so random. Somebody put it down somewhere in Target. I saw the cover. It's so eye-catching. I just picked it up. I read a little bit of the bag, but I was with my little one. She was ready to go. So I just put it in the basket and I was like, I'll read the reviews and deal with it later. I'm very glad that I did pick it up because I was very pleased with the reviews on the book. So the very first one says, are you kidding me? 
with a whole bunch of question marks, I instantly fell in love with this book within the first hundred pages. That's always a sign of a good book because it takes a while for you to get invested and interested into a book. And so somewhere between the first 50 and 100, if I'm not feeling it, if I'm not invested, I will DNF that thing. So I'm hoping that I fall in love well before the 100 mark, but I'm thinking this particular person is just saying by then she already knew it was gonna be a five-star read. That's what I'm thinking. She goes on to say, the writing is stellar and immaculate that it actually amazes me. I have never felt this happy and sad at the same time. The characters will definitely stay with me for a long time. A lot of people did say that they cried. Um, and then the very last one, it just says, read this, don't question it, just do it, it's worth it. Every word, every page, everything about this is just heartbreaking. I cried every page of this book. Oh my God. Makes me nervous and excited. Gotta love a good tearjerker. So this particular book is not a fall book. It's obviously a memoir. The cover was giving me fall vibes. Like when I just saw the cover, I didn't even realize that it was a nonfiction book. So that was kind of cool. I do believe that the author of this particular memoir is Asian. I'm not familiar with the author of this book. The reviews for this book are outstanding. This first one here says, this is one of the best memoirs I've read about living with complex PTSD. It was a heartbreaking recollection of shattering childhood and overcoming the beast within. It is about searching for answers and healing slowly. And I am so happy her journey is out there to inspire and help others. This one right here is just really what sold it for me. But then I found another one that was just as good. This is a quote from the book. It says, I am full of anger, pain, peace, love of horrible shards and exquisite beauty. And the lifelong challenge will be to balance all of those things while keeping them in the circle. Healing is never final. Let me repeat that. Healing is never final. It is never perfection. But along with the losses, there are triumphs. I expect the lifelong battle and its limitations. Even though I must always carry the weight of grief on my back, I have become stronger. That is a good and powerful quote. Then our reviewer goes on to say, this is a heavy read, but it really is life changing. I really will forever think differently upon reading this because it really made me realize a lot about myself, how I cope, how I soothe, how I view perfectionism, how I feel dread, and how I carry my father inside my heart and bones at all times. I really and truly recommend this to anyone, but she basically says she highly recommends it for like immigrants. And then she also just says, please make Make sure that you check content warnings and are in the right headspace to read a book like this. So that is it. Those are the five new books that I've added to my fall TBR. I will be sharing my full fall TBR with you guys in the next two videos. I plan on breaking them up because I would be talking forever and the video would be way too long. I already have a template, so let's see. Romance and fiction for one video. And then we have cozy mystery and suspense thriller in a second video. Make sure that you subscribe and come back so that you don't miss out when I post on those videos. Now that we have more books, more options to spend money, unfortunately, now I'm gonna go ahead and sort the fall decor box. I am so excited to do this. It is time to decorate for fall. Yay! So there's a lot of fun things that I already have here. Okay, so I already bought a new sugar dish because I thought that the lid for this was broken. <sighs> now I'm conflicted. I might just take the new one back unless I can find something else to use this for. I'm just gonna play around with this for a little bit, see what I want to go where, and then off to the stores we go. I don't know if I love this. It feels so busy. I feel like I wanna go out and get a table runner. Yeah, I feel like I like that better. And maybe we'll just put this over here and I'll just have to move my calendar. Yes, much better. Still gotta straighten up and rearrange, but I do like it better over here.
Okay guys, it's looking and feeling like fall in here. And I got some chocolate. <laughs> I'm probably gonna get some more candy while I'm out for my candy dish. I'm also gonna get more drying towels because clearly I just have that one there. And I only have one pumpkin that I don't have a place for. And it's this one. It's absolutely beautiful and I am not giving it away. I thought about swapping out this section and just putting it here for now and then bringing this back out closer towards Thanksgiving. Yeah, I like it, it's simple. So the only thing that I am not utilizing and I'm probably gonna give away are these pumpkins, unless I might just take them upstairs to my loft. I feel like that would be cute. And then this sugar dish, I'm probably gonna give it away to my sister. She loves coffee, see if she wants to use it. So now that the house is giving fall vibes, we can go and we can get some more things to cozy up the space. And then also we need to go and get those books. I'm probably only gonna get one maybe two books especially if they have like the buy one get one 50 percent off so let's go do some fall shopping ah! Guys, look at the sprayed edges. I know you lying. I mean, this is beautiful. I need to buy this book like today, even though I don't plan on reading it anytime soon. <laughs> I feel like it's too beautiful to leave in the store. Oh, yeah. Scrapes by is a made to make ends meet, often finding escape in a good book while daydreaming of becoming a writer herself. Oh my god, it's giving me. <laughs> into Halloween, I would totally get this. Oh my gosh, I did not know they had these cute little tea sets. Stop it. back in the car without anything from home goods which is sad because there were like four items i saw that i really liked there a runner possibly i didn't love it but i really liked it so i'm like let me keep looking there was a candle for my bedroom that i thought was super cute it wasn't too potent for a bedroom you still want it to be kind of relaxing but it does bring like fall vibes i don't decorate my bedroom so a candle is as good as it gets i didn't see any pillows i did want a pillow for like my mudroom area and then for the porch there's a chair on my porch didn't see anything that i really like 
everything is predominantly Halloween. And then there was also a wood welcome board for the porch. I loved that. The line was insanely long for me to be purchasing one or two items. So I said, screw it. But we did get some books. First of all, I am so sad. I'm sad, but I'm proud. I did not get that Song of Achilles book with the sprayed edges. I think I'm gonna order it online. They had it on sale right now, so it was actually like 21 or 22 bucks. Stop playing with me. It's almost a $30 book and it's so beautiful. So I think, I think that's why I was like, let me give myself some time, but I think I'm gonna order it just for my collection and I'll read it when I get to it. But we did get the books that we went in there for, which I am very proud about and they were both on sale. I went ahead and I got the Two Wrongs Make a Right, the book loaded with all the spice. I want to start reading this one. I'm kind of in a romance mood now. I've read a lot of fiction lately and a lot of thrillers, so a romance might be a good idea. And then we got the other book that I really wanna try. It's the cover for me. Yes, and it is a fantasy book. This is so beautiful. This is so fun. This is so cute. <laughs> I really like the way that this book looks. Trying a fantasy for the first time would be a great idea for the fall season. Anyway, I feel like I want to go to Target. I feel like I might have more luck there. Target! this festive that they're swapping out their shower curtain. <laughs> this is all they have left for the dry towels. Target does have the cutest options for clothes, like the color, the material, the texture, all of it. I was hoping to find a rug here, but this is the only seasonal outdoor that they have. I would totally get it, but because this is the only one, it leads me to believe that a lot of people have it. You guys, another failed store run? I can't even. <laughs> I'm going to go to one more store and I am giving up hope. Oh my gosh, I can't believe the selection was so sparse unless you're shopping for Halloween stuff. The things that I needed, I figured you could get last minute. A pillow, a rug, a couple coffee mugs, like what? A runner? Listen. <sighs> It's fine. To make myself happy, I think I deserve some Krispy Kreme donuts. So you guys didn't even get to hear what I ordered. These are pumpkin spice. I believe these are all original. This is just one that my husband and son like. This is like pumpkin spice cake. And this is like a pumpkin spice cream cheese something, but the filling is only on top. I've never had the pumpkin spice donut, so let's try it now. It's really good. Hmm. I'm always nervous to try like pumpkin spice stuff because I feel like certain items, it's like overboard. This, it's so good. Dang, I wonder if I can go, um, <laughs> wonder if I can exchange donuts. <laughs> it's fine, I'll just get some next time. I love those. I need that with like a cup of coffee. Mm, if you've been sleeping on the Krispy Kreme pumpkin spice, don't. Okay, so there is a Kirkland's near here. At this point, I just want to find a porch, a porch, a whole porch choice. I just want to find a rug for my front porch. Okay, we're here at Kirkland's, but I forgot Michael's is in the same lot. So if I don't have luck, we'll go there. Back home and Lily decided that she wanted to, <laughs> I guess, do some redecorating while I was gone. And you would not believe this is all we got. <laughs> 
I did have the pleasure of finding this when I went to Michael's. So I'm probably just gonna put this on the porch and I obviously still need a rug and pillows and everything else. But I already did have a wreath, so I will show you guys that. And then I randomly went into Kohl's for something else and I found this. So I thought this was going to be really cute here. So I did at least find one drying towel and then I'll just get like a solid blue one or tan or something like that so that they can like overlap each other. And then I did start Start reading this when I was waiting in the car for Mikey and it's so cute so far. So Beatrice is neurodivergent. Jamie, he has anxiety. The banter already is so cute. Her character, I feel like I'm going to really enjoy and really like and so I'm excited about that. And while I was in the car driving around, I listened to the sample, What My Bones Know. Listen, that book is about to be amazing. I can just tell from the sample. It's about to be a five star read. I can just tell. But anyway, I'm probably going to listen to that on Audible because it is a memoir. I would like to hear it in the author's voice and her voice was very easy to listen to. I just already like where the book is headed. And then we got our donuts set up all cute. Oh, I absolutely love that. So while I was at Barnes, I came across the book titled Fresh Brewed Murder. It is a cozy mystery. I love a good cozy mystery. It was about $15 there at Barnes. I found it on Amazon for $9 and some change. So we're gonna order it from there. And I can not wait to get cozy and keep on reading this book. I already love the author. Uh, she actually is neurodivergent herself and she just believes that everybody deserves a love story. She says, I am passionate about writing feel-good romances, affirming my belief that every one of us is worthy and capable of happily ever after, if that's what our hearts desire. She's so sweet. I just love her already. So that is it for today's video. Kind of bummed out. I didn't get much decor, but it's fine. I feel like you have all season. I really just need a rug and a pillow, to be honest with you. And that will probably be more than enough. Um, <laughs> I really don't need to do much more inside. Didn't find any mugs, so that's fine too. I do have about mm, three or four. That'll do for now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, watch another. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed enjoy book content and self-care content and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Okay, so tentatively this is what we have. I did find this cute rug from Kohl's, so that was nice. Love my wreath. I just need to swap out this pillow. <laughs> this accent table is actually fine and clearly we need to swap these out and get some mugs. <laughs>